గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆర్ ప్రేమానంద అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్ ఆవేరి నౌ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద టెవెన్స్ థియరమ్ సి ద స్టేట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద థియరమ్ థియరమ్ స్టేట్స్ దట్ ఎనీ లీనియర్ బైలాటరల్ నెట్వర్క్ హౌ ఎవర్ కాంప్లికేటెడ్ ఇట్ మే బీ కనెక్టెడ్ టు ఎ లోడ్ ఇంపిడెన్స్ మే బీ రిప్లేస్డ్ బై ఎ సింపుల్ ఈక్వలెంట్ సర్క్యూట్ containing an voltage source and an impedance the voltage of the voltage source is equal to the open circuit voltage across the load terminals and the value of the impedance is equal to the impedance of the network as viewed from the load terminals into the network as viewed from the load terminals into the network replacing all voltage sources by a short circuit or an internal impedance and all current sources by a short circuit here this figure represents a complicated network connected to a load impedance zl and one b represents a tevinens equivalent circuit see however complicated the statement says that any linear bilateral network however complicated it may be this is the complicated network here it may be replaced by an simple circuit which contains the open circuit voltage and then impedances simple circuit which contains open circuit voltage and then impedance okay whose internal impedance impedance the value of this impedance z not is equal to the impedance of the network as seen from the load to the network as seen from the load to the network replacing all the voltage sources by a short circuit or internal impedance and then current sources by an open circuit here where we have written that uh, for this circuit we have written the equation il is the current through z not and zl and e not is the open circuit voltage so il is equal to e not divided by z not plus zl where e not is thevenin equivalent voltage or we can call it as open circuit voltage or cross load terminals ab and z not is can be written as thevenin's equivalent voltage similarly we come across the norton's theorem the same thing the norton's theorem thevenin's and norton's theorem only the difference is thevenin's theorem we are find the open circuit voltage whereas in norton's theorem we concentrate on the short circuited current across the load only okay a statement of norton's theorem states that any linear bilateral network however complicated it may be connected to a load impedance may be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit containing a current source and an impedance containing a current source and an impedance the value of the current is equal to the current source is equal to the short circuit current across the load terminals the current the value of this current source is equal to the uh, is equal to the short circuited current across the load terminals and the value of this impedance is equal to the and uh, is equal to the equivalent impedance of the network as viewed from the load end to the network as viewed from the load end to the network replacing voltage sources by short circuit or internal impedance and the current sources by an open circuit here we have got that from this network norton's theorem the figure a shows that complicated network connected to well impedance load impedance the figure 2b shows the norton's equivalent circuit norton's equivalent circuit from this circuit b we will find that load current il is equal to the isc the short circuit current the into the z not divided by z not plus zl this is similar to the branch current if i say that il is the branch current through the load resistance il is the branch current through the load resistance is equal to the main current isc into the other resistance divided by sum of the resistance that is the equation we got over here and from equation 1 and 2 if can conclusion that 
E naught is equal to I S C. The short circuit current into Z naught. The previous uh, the equation obtained from the Thevenin theorem that is I L is equal to E naught by Z naught plus Z L. And here I L is equal to Z I S C into Z naught divided by Z naught plus Z L. By e combining these two equation, we get E naught is equal to I S C into Z naught. Or else we can write in terms of I S C that I S C is equal to E naught by Z naught. Based upon these two equations. We can write this is the Thevenin's theorem that is figure one b which I have taken that the Thevenin's theorem and this is the Norton's theorem. From the equation E naught is equal to I S C into Z naught and I S C is equal to E naught by Z naught. Okay, E naught is obtained or written but written as I S C into Z naught and I S C is written as E naught by Z naught. Okay, thank you.